that is indeed what you do. You fold it in half. Oh, wait, <gasps> no. Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today is a history-making moment. This is the last monthly Accio box that we will be receiving. Accio box is moving to a quarterly subscription service and their next box, which is June, this is the May box here, is going to start that every three month delivery process. So if you subscribe to Accio box now, you will be subscribing to their quarterly subscription service. So it's a little bit sad and a little bit exciting because we're saying goodbye to the monthly box, but next month we're gonna be saying hello to their new and improved quarterly subscription box. For the last time for the monthly box, let's take a look at the front of the box. It says fragile contents or fragical contents. Please handle with care. Magic delivered. Find out more about Accio at AccioBox.com. Social media information. AccioBox logo. This is also the last time we're gonna see these brown boxes because they have redesigned all of the boxes for their quarterly box. And we have a spoiler sheet on top. I don't know what this last theme is, so I'm gonna boop, just hide that underneath the box there. But we have the information that we saw in the last box talking about the quarterly box, which sold out immediately. So they're not even taking subscriptions yet until June 10th for their September release. So if you would like to get in on the Accio Box quarterly subscription service, June 10th is gonna be your next opportunity and you will receive the September box. Let's take a look again at this info and see if there's anything new. Important news, your Accio Box will be a quarterly box. It's the same box you know and love, but with a little more magic. You'll receive a brand new designed custom box, more items, seven plus, more value, $130, plus. This will give Accio Box more time to curate each box. This means more unique, creative, usable, collectible, and magical items. And just like the June box, which sold out real quick, there will be a limited amount of quarterly boxes available for each release. So if you want to get in on it, don't wait because they'll probably sell out of the September box too. So June 10th, that's the date to know for when you can get in on the Accio box. Let's take a look at what is inside. Remove some of these schnigglies. Now I'm not seeing a shirt, y'all but that's okay. Not every box should have a shirt. If you don't know about shirts and the Accio box, I love their shirts. This is one of them. This is their Flourish and Blots staff t-shirt. On the back, there's always like a fun advertisement. So for example, Gilderoy Lockhart's Magical Me book, available to purchase at Flourish and Blots now. I see something that says Scribulous on it. It's a wooden box, maybe like a pen or pencil holder. And it says established 1749 Scribulous writing implements and the lid slides out like that. Yeah, so this is gonna hold like pens and pencils. Scribulous, if you don't know, is the Wizarding World's stationery, quills, ink, papers, parchments, pens, pencils, and it's located in Diagon Alley. So maybe this is like a Diagon Alley box. Also inside here, we have not one, but three different unsharpened pencils. We have a Ministry of Magic pencil, a pencil from the desk of Arthur Weasley with some rubber ducks on it, and then a gold Scribulous pencil with that same logo on the front. Very nice that they included pencils to go in your pencil holder. So let's put some pencils in our pencil holder. Doesn't quite fit, although these aren't sharpened yet, so once they are sharpened, they will fit. They kind of fit at a diagonal, but they will fit once they are sharpened. And when you're not using them, you close it right up and then you can find your pencils. I would have liked this more if it was stained a different color. This allows you to paint or stain it whatever color you would like to paint or stain it. But I do enjoy pre-made, ready to display, ready to use items. And you could just use this as is, but it does feel a little bit unfinished to me. So if it had been stained or painted, I think that would have improved this item. I do like the pencils though. All right, next up we have washi tape. We have three different washi tapes, AccioBox exclusive, but it's actually Spello tape. So Spello tape is kind of like the scotch tape of the wizarding world. One says Spello tape on it. The other has some ministry memos flying around. And then the other has the Ministry of Magic logo. Very fun. Now washi tape, if you don't know, is a tape that doesn't leave a residue. So it's great for crafting. It comes off really easily, but also holds the item in place until you're ready to remove the item. I'm glad that they included three rolls. And these are actually three large rolls. Now I don't do a lot of scrapbooking or crafting or anything but for those of you who do, you're probably like, I need that stuff right now. So is this gonna be like Wizarding World stationery or whatever kind of box? Please return all cutlery to the Ministry Cafeteria. 
it's literally a set of silverware. Either you brought your own or you go to the Ministry of Magic and when you go to the cafeteria, you get your food and you take one of these plates which stores the Ministry of Magic cutlery. So we have a spoon, a knife, and a fork. That is awesome, but they're not just spoons and knives and forks. Wait until you see these things which have the Ministry of Magic logo on the end of each piece engraved into it. Holy cow. This feels like nice silverware. Look at that awesome rainbow metallic-y finish that's on each of these pieces. Very fun idea and also great if you wanted to bring your own cutlery to a restaurant or something and use it and feel a little extra magical. But on the front of this carry case it says please return all cutlery to the Ministry Cafeteria and then we see two wizards walking to return their cutlery to the Ministry Cafeteria. A very interesting idea, and this is really cool looking silverware. So for their last monthly box, this is kind of like a quarterly box. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right, there's a white box here. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, there's like a tumbler of some kind. Oh, it's glass. Glass and rubber and wood. A wood straw. Holy moly cannoli. This is, this is cool. The AccuBox has released things like this before in the past, but they've been plastic and just really cheap. This is not only just a huge improvement on quality, but just design wise, love it. And we have a proclamation decree as the artwork on the front of this. All ministry employees will drink water and stay properly hydrated at work. That is really cute. Love the colors on here, love the wood accents, love the glass mixed with the wood. I think the rubber portion is a great understated color. Everything just looks really sharp and nice. Really like this. Guys, look at this. We have all this left. Like, all this left, that's like a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is another Rubius Hagrid recipe. It says my favorite sugar cookies. Didn't we receive his sugar cookies or was, no, those rock cakes, no sugar cookies. We received the vegan recipe. So maybe they're now adding the non-vegan recipe. We'll see when we check out the spoiler sheet, but that's my guess is that maybe this was supposed to be in all the boxes and they only sent one, not sure. But we have Rubius Hagrid's favorite sugar cookies and I will put the front and the back of the recipe on screen so you you can pause the video and try the cookies for yourself if you'd like. What is this? <laughs> it's a lunch box or a lunch bag. The Ministry Cafe and Eatery. It looks like one of those document folders, but on the inside, it's insulated to carry your lunch. This is a genius design because it feels Ministry of Magic and carrying documents, but it's for your food, for your lunch. So you fold this down, or maybe you don't fold it down, and you close it up by wrapping the string around these faux leather pieces. That is probably the coolest Harry Potter related lunch carrier bag box, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever seen. And you can put your silverware on the bottom too. I like that the bottom folds out and lays flat so it's easy to sit on your table or your desk. This is awesome. This is my favorite item so far. We're just gonna put our silverware in here. Get it ready to go. Fill that up with food and we'll be good for the day. So this is a good box. Okay, so we have a stationary set, Ministry of Magic gold seals. We have five sheets of these. That's a lot of sheets. Who needs five sheets? But the Accio box is gonna fill your box with five sheets just in case you need five sheets. I love that. I love when boxes go over the top and do more than they need to do. So what goes with these ministry gold seals or stickers is this interdepartmental memo pad. So you know at the Ministry of Magic, we see those purple paper airplanes flying around. Those are the interdepartment memos that witches and wizards send to each other throughout the Ministry of Magic. Well, we have that in this very fun desk or countertop memo pad. And on the front, it says to and from, don't forget wand cauldron, spell tape, things to do, pick up flesh eating slug repellent, very fun ministry, purple design. And then on the back it says confidential. So what you do, I'm guessing, is fold it in half. That is indeed what you do, you fold it in half. Oh, wait, <gasps> no, there are folding lines on here. Hold the phone. Okay, um, hold on, we're gonna figure this out. I think this is a pad of interdepartmental memos that you actually can turn into memos. All right, so we're gonna, wait, I don't know how to fold a paper airplane. We're gonna do this, 
Okay, so, okay, kind of like, okay, I see. Hold on. If this is what I think it is, this is like insane. It is what I think it is. If this is any clue about what we're gonna be receiving from the Accio box in the future, holy moly cannoli, this is awesome. This is genius. Absolutely genius. <laughs> this sheet of paper on the back has folding instructions and you fold it into an inter departmental memo. So the sticker is actually, I think, a weight, which helps your plane to fly. So I think you put the sticker on first and then do the folding. I'm not sure, but we're just going to put the sticker on the front. I know this isn't how it's supposed to look, but this will give you an idea once you put the sticker on and send it on its way. <laughs> that is incredibly genius. Incredibly genius. Whoever came up with this at the Accio box, gene yes. All right, our last item looks like maybe a pencil holder, another pencil holder, or just some sort of bag, but it is a Honeydukes themed bag. Actually, it's not really Honeydukes themed, it's more magical or Wizarding World sweets. So we have licorice wands, cauldron cakes on here, sherbet lemons, birdie bots, every flavor beans, chocolate frogs, and it's a vinyl bag. Oh, on the inside, so this is gonna be a pencil bag. On the inside, it has a plastic lining. A cute design. Those memos. <laughs> Let's take a look at this cheat sheet. Okay, back to work at the ministry. Whether you're going back to the office or never left, working from home, going to class, or just living life, this collection was designed to be useful and fun. Full of items tied to the ministry, this box is a little bit of a starter kit for a new employee. Arrive by phone box or by flu and add these items to your day to fill it with an extra bit of magic. Hydration decree water bottle. The ministry knows the importance of staying hydrated, and if it takes a decree to make sure employees drink their water, so be it. Use this water bottle to help you remember to drink water during your day, or to remind others to do so. We recommend hand washing or cleaning with magic, and not magic that is a dishwasher. Ministry notepad and stickers. Texting is nice, but sending messages via paper airplanes is far superior. This notepad, designed in-house, lets Accio subscribers really feel they're at the ministry just by dashing off a quick note or to-do list. With the foiled ministry stickers, you can make your airplane look official or use them on other items to add a bit of magic and flair. Pencil case and pencils. Quills and ink are fun, but can be messy and definitely don't blend in very well outside of the magical world. This pencil case and pencil set is a cute way to keep some magic on your desk or in your home while also keeping it mostly subtle. Use them during your day or just display them for the artwork. Cutlery set. Lunch is more fun with cool utensils. Transport your dining experience to the ministry cafeteria with this nifty, reusable cutlery set. We recommend hand washing these to preserve the rainbow coloring or apply a preservation charm and do as you please. If you choose not to return this to the ministry cafeteria, we won't hold it against you. Snack bag. Oh, it's a snack bag. You fill it up with snacks. A highlight of the workday is definitely the snacks. Use this cute reusable bag for your secret stash of snacks at work and be the envy of all of your coworkers. It also works great for travel snacks or shopping snacks or really anytime snacks. If you're not into snacks, you could use it for anything that needs a neat bag. Peter, hello. It has a bunch of snacks on the front. This would totally be a snack bag. I love that. So fun. This would be great for the... Oh, it says reusable snack bag on the little tag here. But as I was saying, this would be great for the wizarding world of Harry Potter to hold your snacks because you can bring food into Universal Studios. Very cool. And it can go with your lunch bag. Ooh. Lunch bag. Whether you work in an office or need to pick up lunch for another reason, it's best to do it with a unique lunch bag. This one, designed to look like it came from the Ministry Cafe, is sure to stand out among office refrigerators. This does not come with an anti-theft charm, though we recommend adding one. Okay, so it's supposed to look like a paper bag, like a paper lunch bag. But to me, with the string, it makes it look more like a, a document holder. But yeah, I can see. Guys, I am missing things left and right. I'm just too excited. Washi tape. These exclusive washi tapes are the perfect way to add a bit of magic and color to a letter, a journal, or envelope. This removable tape is a fun way to display a note or a photo above your desk, on a monitor, or even on a refrigerator. It has a very light sticking charm, so be mindful 
of what you secure with it. This was a killer box, in my opinion, when it comes to execution, creativity, design. It was so good. By far my favorite. Genius. Incredible item. I love the lunch bag as well as the cup. The bamboo top and the bamboo straw, just overall design and aesthetic of this, super cool. So when it comes to this recipe, I do think that this was just included because it was accidentally not included in the previous box. And if you wanted to see what was in this box, you can check out the Accio box unboxing for April here on the Potter Collector channel. What about you guys? What did you think about this box? What were your favorites or least favorites? Also, are you sad that AccioBox is moving away from monthly boxes, or are you excited to see what the AccioBox is gonna bring with their quarterly subscription boxes? I personally am excited to see what they're gonna bring. And again, as I said, if this is anything like what we're gonna be receiving, it's gonna be a pretty cool box. Now, some of these items have been released on the AccioBox's website, so check the description down below if you wanna purchase a single item. And I have a coupon code for you, which is Collector 10 that will save you 10% off of single item purchases, as well as your subscription, which again, June 10th is when you can officially subscribe for the September box. The June box, next month's box is already sold out and sold just like magic. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?